there, YouTube. Uh, this is uh, a Magic the Gathering uh, figure from uh, Funko. I think it's their Legacy line. It's uh, Garak the Wild Speak, I think. Yeah, Garak the Wild Speak. And it's a very, very nice figure once again. I keep saying these figures are very nice, but it's true. Um, the one thing I did wrong so far, uh, the joints are very tight, right? So I put it in boiling water and put it like this. Uh, rubber and boiling water doesn't mix too well, so this piece came off. It's a little uh, rubberized knee pad, you can say, but it's not important. I want to affect your review. I have another one somewhere here. But for the sake of time, we'll just do this one. Um, the arms are very, still very tough to bend. <clears throat> Can't bend that. But that's bent at about a little less than a 45 degree angle and 180 there. But that's when I show you that. Now, uh, like I said, you go look at guys so other in depth reviews of the articulation. But as when I show you the sculpt, the positives is it's sculpted very well. I mean, look at these details. Uh, you know, this company, Funko, can give NECA a run for the money in terms of sculpt. Is that well detailed? And I see more um, companies implement um, these rubberized pieces. They're great because the height uh, articulation points. Some people don't like seeing like ab crunches. It breaks up the sculpt a lot. But when you put a rubberized material over the sculpt, it looks great. You know, it's 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 what uh, action figure evolution should be. You know, this is where we should be. But you know, <clears throat> the industry is really run by um, Hasbro and Mattel, and Mattel's a big joke. Uh, they were so bad they actually had to cancel their six inch line. That's how bad they were. <laughs> Uh, Hasbro, um, they're they're a little better, uh, I would say, you no know, tons better, but still they've uh, stopped the progress of action figure evolution. Uh, they have really implemented nothing great outside of like this ankle pivot, but you know otherwise uh, Hasbro has really stalled in uh, action figure evolution. But anyway, this isn't about Hasbro, this is about uh, Magic the Gathering. Um, quick uh, the only uh, con I would say it's really the head doesn't really go up and down, you know, it goes down like that much as you can see but up not really just uh, look straight ahead if you're lucky straight ahead the arms uh, do go in and out and around if you're wondering but I can't get this arm to bend you know I would put back I won't put in the hot water I'll have to use a blow dryer for this because like I said the hot water it'll, uh, it might uh, take off some of the rubberized uh, armor it has as you can see the details of the armor are spot on look at this details I mean look at that Look at that material, look at that texture. Look, look close at it, look at it. It's amazing. Yeah, this, this, it's put like wool, I guess, but it's very nice, you know. These things aren't sharp at all, don't worry about the rubber eyes, they bend really easily. But they're so well done. I'll let see more companies implement uh, this rubberized material over a base body. It works very well. Um, not just Hasbro, it's cheap plastic. <laughs> Um, the knee is double jointing, so it bends back really far. Well, I wouldn't say really far, I would say about 90 degrees, but I can't get any more. Ah, yeah, there you go. This is like bends a little bit better. Look at that. So it's beyond 45, so like 60 degrees, I would say. It bends back really well. It actually has a little ratchet joints, so I don't worry about the knee wearing out. It's on a ratchet, so that's good. Um, it has a uh, ankle goes up and down, but it has a slight ankle pivot. Now it's kind of hindered by the sculpt, as you can see the pants, the sculpt. But I definitely feel an ankle pivot there. You see, this side is a little better. See, actually, I shouldn't say pivot. It's actually rocker now. <laughs> They're called rockers. Um, so that's really nice. And it comes with one axe. Yeah, it's a little difficult to fit in the hand, but it does fit. Or should I say stay in the hand? You know, uh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. See, look at that. Look at he holds it. Very nice, huh? Very, 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 very nice. Look at the details. Come, let me put the uh, dirt backwards. Don't fall. Don't fall. Uh, he'll take a he'll take a slide on there for a second. But look at the details of his axe. Look. Look at that. It's like it has like silver and maybe I'll say black wash there. See, look at it. it makes it look like uh, battle worn. Very nice. Uh, white lines there. Very sculpted. Really nicely sculpted there. Sculpted there. Uh, look at this. Very nice. Very nice. The wrappings are very nice. It looks like honestly, it looks like wood. You know, that's that's incredible. Incredible details. 
looks like wood. That's incredible. Um, there are like I think three or four other figures from the line. This is the one I have. I also have a Jace. Uh, the, he's an excellent figure. I'll review that at a later date, maybe tomorrow or something like that. So it's February 2015. These guys could be found somewhat cheaply online right now. Uh, I don't know if it's sold. Well, I'm guessing it didn't, but it should have. They're excellent figures. Excellent. I mean, look at this head sculpt here for a second. Come on. Yeah, focus. All right, all right. Best you can do. But look at it. It's like it has a rubberized mask over the face, you know. That you can see up in there. That's the way it should be, you know. It's, it, it looks like a... Uh, it looks it gives it depth that's the word the rubberized mask over her face looks like it gives it depth so it does look like a mask instead of like a regular paint job or even like a, a uh, plastic mask it looks a lot better you know um it's an excellent figure once again i would give this guy uh i would give this guy honestly a nine uh, only thing that prevents it from being a 10 it's really the um the arms the articulation I can get it to bend without some heat, so that's an issue I have. And and it, it actually has a like a I think I have crunch like that. <sighs> there it is. See how it crunches forward a little bit? It actually has a nice app crunch in this. It's under the clothing though. <laughs> so it's hard to get to, but uh, look at that. Look how it bends back. Look at that. Incredible man. Great job. It, it might have like a ball joint. I can't really tell I can't see under the uh the clothing but the waist does swivel it's a little hard but it does swivel app crunch so that's incredible and uh nothing else i need to go over guys it's a must buy i would say it's a must buy personally uh includes incredible incredible um paint job incredible wash look like you see like i guess a little veins or something there uh this is a rubberized uh knife i guess whatever it is and this armor it's really nice rubber eyes once again they wouldn't hurt anybody but it's so well painted well done and magic the gathering and the funko deserve a lot of credit for this uh, figure line uh it's a must buy again nine out of ten you guys should pick this up before it goes to other stores because uh as, as i saw i picked this up at target at a very good price um so pick it up before uh, everybody else beats you to it trust me on this guys you won't regret it you know it's a great body great piece to add to your collection uh, take care YouTube and uh, support Funko. Do the great stuff.